Hey everyone, this is Muggle with Cult of Mac here, and today I'm going to show you some easy ways that you can secure your Mac from pretty much any virus, any malware, and really any security threat that you might run into while using your Mac. And these are all pretty simple tips, uh, but they all can have an impact on how safe your Mac is. So I decided to make this video because there's been a lot of news about OS X security lately, about the flashback Trojan, and a lot of people are concerned. And I also saw this great post on OS X Daily about some different ways to keep your Mac safe too. And I thought that was really great. So I'm going to show you some of the ways they found about, but also some of my own here that are different ways that you can easily keep your Mac safe. So a lot of these occur within Safari. And to get there, all I have to do is go up in Safari and to Preferences. Now, I am running Mountain Lion, so if you're on Lion or Snow Leopard, uh, things might look a little bit different for you, but generally, everything should be in a similar place and location for you to find it. So the first thing that you might want to do is, if you don't use Java all the time, you might want to disable Java. Uh, that's a big area for exploits in OS X. And if you do like to use Java, you can install like a second browser like Chrome or Firefox or something like that that you can use when you need to use Java on the web. So if you go over to the security tab, all you have to do is uncheck Java and you can stop Java and that'll take care of a lot of the exploits that you might run into. You can also go over to the general tab and you can uncheck open safe files after downloading. So basically this is saying that if you download the PDF or an archive or something like that, it would, it would open it right after you download it. And this kind of allows files to open automatically without your approval on your system. So if you uncheck that, you're safe there. Now, another thing you can do is block flash to make sure there's no exploits with flash. And I use a flash blocker all the time, uh, mostly because it speeds up browsing, but it also can make your system more safe too. So if you go under the extensions tab, you can see I have this plugin the customs extension installed and this blocks flash for me. And if you want a flash block and plug in too, if you go up to the Safari menu and you click on Safari extensions, it'll take you to Apple's page of all the different Safari extensions available. And there's tons of different flash blockers on here. You can choose one that you like and use that. Another thing you can do to secure yourself from PDF exploits is to get rid of Adobe Reader if you have it installed. I personally don't have it installed. I've never needed it, but you don't need it even if you do have it installed uh, because there is preview built into OS X. So if you open up a new finder window and you hit on your keyboard command shift G, it'll pop down this window. And what you want to do is type in what I have here, which is tilde and then slash library. And this will go to your library folder. And in your library folder, you'll find internet plugins. And if you go into internet plugins, you should find a Adobe Reader plugin in here, and you can see I don't have one, but all you'd have to do is delete that plugin. There's also a couple different things in System Preferences that you can do. So if you launch up System Preferences and you go under the Security and Privacy tab, this will look a little bit different than it does online because I'm a mountain lion once again. Uh, but basically, you should see an option under General. In this case, I have to go under Advanced but to automatically update safe downloads list. And you wanna make sure this is checked because what it does is it checks daily for new malware definitions and it updates those for your system to keep you safe. So you always wanna have that checked. Now, another thing that sounds pretty obvious but might not be is to actually make sure your firewall is set up properly. I went in the other day and I looked and my firewall wasn't on. So, you know, that's not a very good idea, but all you have to do is turn on your firewall. And if you wanna go in your firewall options, you can see all the different connections that are allowed on your system and you can manage those from there. Another one that sounds obvious but can really help is to make sure that you download apps primarily from the Mac App Store, especially if you're a little bit unsure about what you're doing in regards to downloads. So by downloading stuff from the Mac App Store, you can be pretty sure that what you're downloading is safe uh, because everything has to go through Apple's App Store approval process. Another nice thing that I really recommend for privacy is downloading Little Snitch. So basically what it does is every time an application tries to connect to the internet, it'll alert you and it'll ask you if you really wanna do this, uh, depending on what your settings are, of course. So this can help with getting rid of any unwanted connections. And it's not a free application, uh, but if you're really concerned about security, I'd say it's definitely worth it. I've tried it and it's really helped. Another thing, if you go under the sharing tab in system preferences, you might wanna make sure that everything under here that you can uncheck is unchecked. Uh, of course, if you use something like screen sharing, you won't wanna uncheck it. Uh, but anything that's checked that you don't use, you can uncheck so the other computers can connect to your computer and share, you know, printers, scanners, 
files, things like that. Now, last but not least, you can install antivirus. And the reason I save this for last is because I still believe that you really don't need antivirus for OS X. Uh, this is more something I would do if I was paranoid. Uh, but you can get antivirus, and if you want antivirus for OS X, there's this link to Sophos, and I'll have this right below the video so that you can download it if you want to. Uh, but it's just a basic antivirus for the Mac. So there's some easy ways that you can make your Mac more secure. Of course, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.